Welcome to the first edition of Another Point of View, the podcast that's going to take you in a totally different direction is to talking about things that we talk about every day, but from a slightly altered point of view. And today's show will focus on modern men. Now, modern men and modern women are a product of the times. And it is a given that modern men and modern women are different from what they were 100, 50, even 10 years ago. The times have changed and evolved and the modern man and woman, for the most part, have adapted with the changing times. Now, Modern, the reason why it's called Rest in Peace or RIP Rip, Rip, Modern Men is because with the way things are going and the rate that modern men are dropping out of the sexual marketplace, modern women are getting less and less bang for their buck. And that is because, mainly because today's women are sold false items. Modern women are told, you don't need men. Men are trash. Men are stupid. Patriarchy is evil. It must be abolished. Amongst other things. And for the life of me, I don't understand why. Men are not trash. Let's, let's start with that. Men are not trash. Men, men are not evil. Can they be evil? Yes. Are some men evil? Of course. But the modern, but the majority of today's men are neither. I was watching earlier today a pillow contracted by the name of Just Pearly Things. She has a fantastic group of shows, and I highly recommend that you watch them. Shout out to Pearly. Um, And in this show, they were talking about something, and she made a valid point that made me stop for a second. And that point was that 80% of women date 20% of men. And by that I mean if, okay, when um, when a group of, of 100 women are surveyed and they're asked, what traits do you look for in a guy when you date him? 80 of those women, 80%, 80 of those women And looking back on the male size, 100 male, one in 20 men. Let me say that again. 80 women wanted 20 men. Now, I'm not a rocket scientist. I'm not a mathematician. But I do know that that number is unsustainable. That's because 20 of those women will get 20 men, and the other 60 will be a shadow of luck. They'll be left wanting. Now, moving over, there's 20% of men, they operate under the premise that I like to say that men are only as faithful as their options. The more options you have, the more likely you are to stray. And these men are pros at it. 
they have their pick of the litter. Quite literally. They can walk into a room and say, I want her, 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 and her. And I will get them all. Granted, it's going to take him some time to do so. But he will get, he will beg, he will sleep with all of them. Going back to those women, they're all jockeying for, for this guy. And they have reached their pinnacle. They've reached the best man that they feel they can get. They've made a 10. They've got an alpha. <clears throat> Excuse me. And as a result, when that alpha leaves, and invariably he will, because someone else will catch his eye. When you have a pick of the litter, it is almost impossible you to stay faithful to one person for very long. It can be done. Don't get me wrong. It can be done. But that has to be the woman of his dreams. And based upon logic and logical um, conclusions, that is not likely to be because He's got any, everybody he wants. Anybody he wants. He's got women throwing themselves at him. So eventually, someone will catch his eye and he'll leave. And then the alpha widow is born. Because she's had the best she can have. And every relationship from going forward from this last one all the males will be compared to the alpha male. Is that right? No. Is it fair? No. Is it even logical? Well, 50-50. But it is a fact of life. Now, Multiply that by the 80. And you have 80 women who had their best, best they're going to have. And judging all the subsequent males that come into their lives based on the alpha. And the reason why it's not fair is he could be a jerk. He could be misogynistic. He could be detrimental to her health and well-being. But the sex was good. He broke her back on multiple occasions. He gave her the business many times. And because of that, two things happen. First things happen is that she's not going to give him up very easily because he, she, she enjoys the sex. So he's going to get a hall pass. And based upon how well he can bust it down, he may get multiple hall um, passes. He may get multiple mulligans, do-overs. Mainly because he's good. He knows his way around a bedroom. He knows how to please a woman. So he's gone because eventually someone else catches his eye and he, he uproots and moves to the next one. And here comes Jerry, Jer here comes Jerry Sh Jerichoff and Joe Schmo. They're average by every stretch of the imagination. Average car, average house, average lifestyle, average life. 
they get by. They're not going on extravagant trips. They're not taken to different places. They're not going to see different things. They get up, they go to work, they come home. They go to sleep, rinse and repeat. That's their life. And let's call her Sheila. Sheila, Sheila Savage. Now, Sheila is an alpha widow who just had the best D of her life. He left her, but that's not important. She had the best D of her life. So every guy going forward that she meets now is going to be holding. Can they bust it down? Can he bust it down? Can he make me scream and holler? How does he make me feel? Most guys, if they're honest with themselves, won't hold up to that. They will, they, they, under scrutiny, they'll fall apart. But she don't need to know that. So I'm going to give it my best. I'm going to give it my best try. And I'm going to make sure that she remembers my name. They go out. The day, the day, the day is, is serviceable. It's good. It's nothing to scream home about, but it's good. She agrees to go home with him. One thing leads to another. They get down to it. Here's where the modern woman comes into her own, and it's not in a good way. Because you see, women lie. Don't get it twisted. Men lie too. But they lie at different rates and for different reasons. Women lie because of feelings. Men lie mainly because of circumstances. A guy meets a girl, a girl outside of the marriage or outside of the relationship. He spends time with her. They just wind up fooling around. He lies to cover his butt. He lies because, truthfully, the sex didn't mean anything to him. And that's because, as my great, 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 tremendous, wonderful human being, Chris Rock once said, it's hard for men to turn down sex because we don't run that fast. And that's, that's, there's some truth to that. He said that women find it easy to say no and to turn people down because ever since they were 13, guys have been trying to sleep with them. One thing that Pearl said in one of her shows was that men, women are born with value and men have to earn it. True words have never been spoken. And we know it's true because when you have a daughter, it starts out, she's so pretty. You're so pretty. And she gets older. You're beautiful. You're my princess. You're so beautiful. You're my princess. She reaches her teen years. You're gorgeous. You're, sh you're heart stopping. You're incredible. Women are born with this value. All they have to do is show up. Nothing is required, nothing is expected, except for the woman to be pretty. Guys are born 
And it starts out, he's so handsome. He's so handsome. As he gets older, he's cute. Notice the word change. Beautiful versus cute. And you already know the connotation between the two. If you're beautiful, you're at the top of the, the, top of the pile. You're cute, not so much. And that bar continues to decrease unless the boy is lucky enough to be handsome, to look appealing, to be attractive. If he's average, all bets are off. So by the time he comes of age, you, know, you got to be a man. Man up. Stick out your chest. Don't cry. Cries with sissies. And from that point, at about the age of 13, men then begin to realize that in order to be anything in this world, they're going to have to bring something to the table. Thus begins the, the, um, the journey of discovery. What can I do to make women like me? And that's what it all boils down to. What can I do to make women like me? Because in the and when everything is said and done, that's what it is. Everything else is superfluous. The money, the fame, the attention, the status, all that is secondary to getting and holding at the attraction of a female. All of that comes second to gaining favor in a woman's eyes. Because when everything is said and done, that's all that matters. That's it. Nothing, nothing else matters. Everything else is secondary. So the guy begins to learn a trade. He may, he may try athletics. He may get into entertainment. He may get into STEM. All these things with the overarching goal of being able to come up to a woman and saying, Hello, I'm so and so, and I do this, 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 and this. I hope she likes me. I'm not going to already hear some of you saying, that's not necessarily true. Because I feel, and I'm gonna, let me cut you right there. As was stated in the previous podcast, F your feelings. Feelings. Don't equate for much. Because uh, 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 to be perfectly honest with you, feelings like our, and opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. Feelings are based on of opinions. And I'm of the opinion that anyone who thinks that feelings trump facts is delusional and stupid. Anybody who can say to you I feel that guys are X, Y, Z. Okay. Why? Why are guys X, Y, Z? And is it all guys? Or is there any data and or statistics to back up your argument? 
Now, keep in mind, as I stated in the previous show, stats lie all the time. It all depends upon the person and their interpretation of that data. Data can and will be twisted to fit anyone's narrative that they see fit at any given time for any given reason. And mainly it's just because it'll further their argument. Or they'll give the coulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda argument. They'll say things like, Oh, well, I know so and so, and they'd go through such and such, or I've seen so and so, so, or I, I was, I'm my friend, da 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 da. And you're going, what? Come again. Your whole argument is based upon a he said, she said argument. Where in that situation, there are three sides, his side, her side, and the truth. And you interjected yourself as a fourth party. You better hope and pray that the person you base it on is right. Also, getting back to the or getting back to the music topic, women are hypergamous. They tend to date up. How high up the um, the social ladder can I get before everything's said and done? See, a guy will leave. if they find something more to their liking. And that's the three Fs, feminine, fit, and friendly. They find that and you're lacking the leave. If they're honorable, they'll tell you why. If they're not, they'll just go. A woman will leave if they see that they can do better than their current situation. Let's, let's, let's look at those two for a minute. A guy will leave for a better option. They see a younger model. They see a more attractive model. They see a more compliant model. And they'll, they'll chase it. They'll go, they'll go out and they'll, they'll shoot their shot and they'll try and get it. A woman will leave when she believes that she can do better than her current situation. Neither one is, very, is a very good reason for leave. Neither one. Let's, 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 let's keep it 100. Everybody that has any sort of common decency will tell you that in this situation, neither the guy nor the girl are acting in good faith. The difference is when a woman says She's going to leave. It's a foregone conclusion because she checked out months ago. The feeling left months ago and she went through the motions while she checked out her options. Waiting for that Mr. Right to enter her life so she could leave with him. And let's face it, 
there was a t-shirt that people had and it was very true because it said I'm not looking for Mr. Right. I'm looking for Mr. Right now. Transitory. Which meant that, yeah, she'll take you for the time being until she finds better. And guys don't know much. uh, uh, Guys do the same thing. A guy, guys will sleep with anyone. Guys will stick their friend in any hole at any time for any reason as long as the woman says yes. She gives her consent, he's in there. The difference is is that those type of men, and they tend to be alpha, have let it known in the beginning. Well, they'll let you know where they stand. That's why you hear on a lot of the podcasts, guys saying, yeah, I'll hit it. I'll smash. I'll sleep with her. But that's as far as it's going to go. And that's because men are hardwired to sow the seed. Every man on this planet, somewhere looking in the deep recesses of their mind, are programmed to sleep with as many women as possible and and impregnate as many women as possible to reproduce, to sow their seed, to get more copies of themselves out to the world. That goes without saying. Every woman, every man, excuse me, is pre-wired to do that. So a man will sleep with a woman, but that don't make him, that, he's not going to wife her. That's not necessarily going to make wife material for him. It's just a little bit of fun. And in the in the um, interest of fairness, there are women that do that too. They'll sleep with you, and in the morning, nice talking to you. Have a happy see you. Want me to call you again? I'll, I'll call you. Don't you don't call me. I'll call you. Don't don't call me. I'll call you. That's when each of the, each person affected becomes a booty call. And everybody knows they're, they, they're about their booty call. You're not doing nothing. You're horny as heck. Oh, I wonder what so-and-so's doing. Knowing that if she's not doing anything, you're going over there with the express purpose of hitting it. And at the end of the encounter, I'll, I'll call. I'll call you. I promise. I'll call you. Have a good night. Take care. Bye bye. Close the door. <laughs> I hit it. Yeah. The other problem with modern women and by extension modern men is that modern women tends to equate sexual attention with romantic attention. They conflate getting jiggy with it to falling in love. They say the two things are the same and nothing is further from the truth.
sex is a product of lust.